can you briefly introduce yourself? Yes, of course. Hello, I'm Attilio Castellarin. I come from Italy, precisely from this area, Bologna. Uh, there I'm a tenured assistant professor uh, at the Faculty of Engineering. I teach their classes in, uh, on hydrology and water resources management. Um, I came here to be the lecturer, lecturer uh, of a few classes within a, a small course on uh, the design of a small, uh, a short course on the design of a small hydropower uh, plants and precisely I taught some classes on the estimation of uh, water resource availability in uh, catchments, watersheds, uh, where you lack uh, uh, information, observation, data. What in our field we call them engaged catchments. Uh, my research field, my uh, research uh, interests are in uh, hydrology, uh, surface water uh, availability estimation, and in general hydrological predictions in uh, poorly gauge or ungauged catchments. That's why I, I came here to give this uh, presentation and taught the, teach these classes. And uh, how did you find the classes so far? Were the participants the Masters of Science? Well, uh, you know, um, the, the, the students attending these classes mm -hmm. uh, have very, very different uh, backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So some of them are excited by the subject and they maybe already work on these kind of subject, so they are just deepening the, the topics. Mm -hmm. Some others are, uh, for some others, it's more difficult, but uh, mm -hmm. I found it fascinating to be in touch mm -hmm. with uh, such a huge variety of uh, mm -hmm. culture, uh, countries of uh, uh, Original countries, and mm -hmm. it never happens to me. I basically see um, students from yeah. from Italy mm -hmm. you know, during my classes. And you were saying something about lacking data, and also trying to uh, use various systems to. Uh, Yes, uh, uh, this is actually my expertise field. I work on the development mm -hmm. of uh, regional models, models mm -hmm. that gain, collect information mm -hmm. from uh, sites where you do have the data mm -hmm. uh, to develop m mathematical tools mm -hmm. that help you in predicting the hydrological uh, information where you, don't, where you don't have it. And who would be the main beneficiaries of this data? Oh, uh, I would say developing countries, uh, absolutely, because uh, mm -hmm. those uh, gauging networks are sparse, uh, maintained by various uh, institutions in the same state, so it's more difficult um, to, 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 to collect data there. Mm -hmm. but even in Italy right now it's getting harder and, ha and harder to um, collect uh, in important information because due to the cost of maintaining uh, mm. uh, gauging networks, gauging networks are actually sh shrinking. It's more true for stream flow gauging networks, the, 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 uh, the gauges, the sensors that mm -hmm. measures the discharge that is flowing mm -hmm. in, a, in a stream, in a river, then for rain gauges. Rain gauges uh, and rain uh, gauging networks are still very dense in Italy, which is still, to my mm -hmm. knowledge, a, a Western country, a, a developed country, but yet uh, the stream gauging networks are getting poorer and poorer every year, and this is, mm -hmm. this is a, a pity mm -hmm. when you uh, need to, to, to predict the surface water availability, as in our case. And, um, well, do you have any message maybe for future students or future participants who are going to take this course? Um, absolutely. I hope that mm, there will be new edition because I think this uh, particular course on uh, small hydropower plant uh, design is very interesting. The topic is a hot topic uh, mm -hmm. and uh, the course is intense, but it covers a variety of topics mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's, in my view, well designed. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome.